Ah, good afternoon, good evening, morning, good morning, wherever you are. It's Mr. Shakespeare again with you on the 30th of November 2022, and I'm here with psychic medium and remote viewer Liz Cross. How are we doing today, Liz? <laughs> I must admit, I kind of like your voice with the flu. It's, it's several, uh, several uh, notes deeper. Right. Mm. Yeah. I'll just arrange to have that then permanently when we have our interviews. <laughs> You're so funny. No, I'd prefer it if you got better, but thank you. Um, Guantanamo Bay. Yeah. What's going on there? Well, um, it's been going 20 years. It's... Uh, Basically, the U.S.'s version of off isle, off, off mainland detention. Um, and what I want to talk about, or what I want you to find out about, is um, apparently there are plans or to build two new courthouses or courtrooms or courts within the complex of Guantanamo Bay. Is that true? Are they going to be separate to Guantanamo Bay? No, it's not true. Have they built any court uh, new courtrooms in there recently? They're completed. <laughs> see how see how exact these questions have to be? When were they completed? Last month. Why did they why have they produced sorry, why have they uh done that? Why did they produce new courtrooms? Construct new courtrooms? Because they don't want the prisoners to flee. Hey. It's their right to be able to attend court, but they want the court there. They don't want them flying anywhere. They don't want them, you know what I mean, to be to have access, potential access to anywhere else. And I'm saying, but what about courts um, via Zoom? No, that's not sufficient. That's uh, in breach of their human rights. Okay, but I thought these were two new courtroom complexes. I thought there were already some or one or two or some there, and they've now increased them by two. Is that not the case? Increase them? No, they haven't increased them. So are you saying there were no courtrooms before these two were constructed? No courtrooms before these two were construction. No, there were like rooms, but there weren't proper courtrooms. But now there are now they there are proper courtrooms, is that right? Yes. Okay. How many uh how many inmates are currently in there? How many according to Wikipedia, which you know, hey 35 is, are there. Is that correct? Is it more or less? No, I feel like it's in the 20s. Okay. Have nine actually died while in custody? More than nine have died whilst in custody. Right. Have you reported those deaths? No. Have you reported those deaths to their country of origin? Yes. Have you reported those deaths to their families? No. Were they tortured? Yes. Were they tortured to death? No. 
they just weren't taken very good care of. Apparently in 2018, then US President Trump signed an executive order to keep the camp open indefinitely. What do they think about that? Yes, it will remain open. Which is strange because when at the beginning of the year, or maybe it was last year, um, I probed Joe Biden. This is before we realize how far mentally gone he is. And I'm not trying to be horrible when I say that. It's just I have tried to mind probe him several times. There's nothing there. It's like vacant right? You get little blips and, you know, little shocks or whatever going on. But for the most part, it's just nothing there. And one of the things I did pick up on was at that time of probing him, which is very early in the morning, he said to me, I want to close Guantanamo Bay. So I thought, well, okay, that was something he was going to be able to accomplish. Mm. But has that become, has Joe Biden tried to shut you down? No, he hasn't. He hasn't. Well, it says here he authorized several, several million dollars of expansions in early 2022. Right. And it says the declared his, see, there you go. It says right there. It declared his intention to shut down the facility before he leaves. But that's not what I'm getting now. Uh, it's impossible to close it down. I think they're just going to wait till everybody dies. Yeah, because the re the remaining people have been have been held without charge. Uh, people that have been held, do they have any formal charges on them? No, they don't. They don't have any formal charges on them. See, this is the hypocrisy. Mm -hmm. If Americans were if Americans were held in a jail somewhere in the world without being charged, you can imagine the screaming and shouting the U.S. State Department would be doing, jumping up and down about that. And yet in Guantanamo Bay, that's exactly what the Americans do. It's not very fair. I mean, I'm not saying that these people may or may not be dangerous, but everybody should have the right to a trial. Yeah. Yeah, and if they if they're guilty, that's one thing. But if they're not, you know. Wow, and and what just came through to me was there was something to do when these diplomats were killed at an embassy, and I can't remember now. It was a while ago, and somebody said they they broke the news of the the storming of the embassy and you know they had it on video camera and they released the video footage for the public to see and they put that person in jail without charge i will have to look that one up if anybody knows or remembers who that is please drop a line of their name and I would like to probe them to find out what happened to that person because you never heard anything else from that person. And then I've said this before, uh, a team of remote viewers out of Australia actually probed the moment where that decision was being made as to what to do about the storming of this embassy and uh, they were, I think Clinton, Hillary Clinton was in the room, Obama was in the room, all these people were in the room. And there was a team of, of five remote viewers. Weirdly, four of those remote viewers have been killed in car crashes in Australia. Hmm. Within a couple of years of doing that probe. Um, so that, that was bizarre to me as well. Um, they actually came through to me to find out like why their four colleagues were killed in these mystic like these car crashes. It was just such a bizarre event. And and they believe that it was or that person believes it was directly attached to 
remote viewing the incident of where these people stormed the embassy and the politicians were trying to, they were watching the footage live and they were trying to make a decision. That was just a, and that was the only remote viewing project that this group ever worked on. That, that was interesting as well. They said they picked up a lot of that bad vibes in that, in that room as they were viewing it. And then they, they decided not to do any more, but then Four of those people out of the five within two years of doing that remote viewing were all killed in car crashes separately, separate car cl- crashes. Now that's weird, isn't it? Yep. See, that's why you have to cleanse before you even look at something and after you finish looking at it. And that's something that the mainstream remote viewing instructors do not teach. Right. Okay. Okay. So I think that's all we have for Guantanamo Bay. Thank you. Yes. If anybody does have any further questions, please, uh, you can always interact with Mr. Shakespeare or the other interviewers on Discord, Patreon, forward slash remote viewing and beyond. Make sure you hook up your Discord profile to the Patreon. I'll give you uh, access right in the door there. Uh, They do pick up what's on the Patreon as well, but conversationally, they tend to interact on Discord. Uh, So anybody that has any further questions, you have a lot more information about Guantanamo Bay, feel free to drop it in the comments field or, you know, email, but better still join the Patreon. Okay. Well, thank you very much. This was interesting. Thank you.